you are your calendar. You're a leader, you're a boss, or for that matter, you're not a leader or a boss. There is only one asset that I have, and there is only one asset that you have, and that asset is your time. You're a boss of a distribution center, and you say that this is going to be the year of extraordinary attention to quality. And then at the end of the first month of the year or the first month after you make this proclamation, I sit down with you for a half an hour and we go through your monthly calendar day by day and in fact hour by hour. And what we discover is that with all the meetings that occur and all the surprises that come up, in the course of that month you spent six hours directly on the quality issue. Well, guess what? Quality is not your top priority. The calendar never, ever, ever lies. If you say something is a priority, then it must be quantitatively reflected, obviously, dramatically, and unequivocally in the way you spend your time. The calendar never lies. Huge piece of this, in my opinion, is in fact to have a buddy. It might be a spouse, it might be a close colleague, it might be somebody roped in off the street, but somebody who will literally be your conscience to go over your calendar and through your calendar for, for example, the last month or maybe even the last week. Remember, only one asset your time. Priorities are expressed in terms of the amount of time that you spend on them. Quantity in many respects is more important than quality of time. Time, management of it, and matching it up with your priorities. The calendar never lies. Anything else lies. The calendar tells the truth.